Welcome back. In the previous part, we did Gaius's chapter 2 and Mila's chapter 3. That was correct, right? I think it was that. So now it's up for us to do Rowan's chapter 3. So let's begin. What's it called? The Fellowship of the... Uh, and the Oath. Okay. Ah, it's good to see you. Look out! Ugh. Rowan, are you okay? Get out of here! Run back to your precious Olympias, traitor! Are you hurt? I mean, what? How'd they even know he was from Olympias? It doesn't. I. Wait. What? Me? What about you? Yeah, don't worry about us. You're the one who got hit. Why would they do this? It's all right. I'm fine. So you're one of them too! Another stinking Olympias lover! Um, well, we've got to protect the Lees, haven't we? But, thank you. Stop being so mean! Typical. He cowers behind bodyguards. I mean, he didn't. That was terrible. Does this kind of thing happen to you a lot? Oh no, only on occasion. Shandu is a city of tradition. Many extremists who oppose peace call it their home. Yeah, they were all like, down with Olympias! Peace will not only benefit Olympias and its citizens, but also the people of Rize Maxia. If only more people took the time to look at the big picture and realize that. They will. At this point, the best thing I can do to convince everyone is to show actual results. DODA here. I'm sorry, is everything okay? Mm. Anyway, I'm sorry if this is a bad time for you, but we have detected a new fractured dimension. The rift appears to be in Fenmont. We've sent you the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. Would you mind if I accompany you? I feel it would be prudent for me to leave here for a time. Hey, hey! Answer me! Hey, hey! Oh, it's a message from Drissel. <gasps> Is there something wrong, Elise? It's nothing. I'll come too. Hmm. It's extremely suspicious, but all right. Let's see what's going on here. So, F4229. That animation. Love it. Love it. Okay, now we're... So, we're... We're here. But... But where do we go? Let's see what the people of Fenmont have to say. No, that makes more sense. Chief of Staff Ilbert's wife is Kelly, the younger sister of the king. Oh. King Noctagon and Rowan have a special relationship. Oh, this makes more sense now. The Lafort Research Center passed here as a public facility researching spirit arts. Lately, they developed a water-based spell which greatly increases the harvest in the Char Char Charlton region. It's one of the pride and joys of Rashigal. Oh, well, it's it's quite lovely. What's that got to do with us? Carrie was a kind woman. She would even talk of an, to an ordering guy like me. Can't believe she's gone. No, oh, she's dead. King Dr. Go's words are different from other politicians. I can just hear it in his voice that he's thinking about us and the future of this country. That's, that's good, I suppose, isn't it? Yes. Oh, oh. I skipped one. The Noctagall of this world seems to be a wise and just ruler. Then he might be the Divergence Catalyst. Let's go to Order Palace and see. Yeah, here we go. My village got flooded, so I came to petition. I didn't think the king would hear me directly. And not only that, he promised immediate dispatch of emergency supplies and tax exemption. King Nutko truly is a great leader. Right, so we're Order Palace. Let's see here, so... Just up there? No. Up here, up here. Ah, yeah, we can see it in the distance. It's like, I should know where it is. We've been here before. And we went here when we were trying to 
get musées seen before, weren't we? So should take that long to get there. Right, do I have to go up the whole distance? Elise, is something wrong? I'm about to speak to a friend I'd lost, and yet I feel strangely calm. This must be part of growing old. I suppose? Audience hours have concluded. Ilbert. Surely I can drop by for a friendly visit without requesting an audience. <laughs> if I ever got to the point of turning you away, that would be a bad sign. That's quite the entourage. I presume this is something important. No, just killing time on a sleepless night. Well, I was fully prepared for a dreadfully dull evening. Shall we drink until dawn, like old times? That ornament in your hair. How striking. Oh, I never showed this to you, did I? It was a gift from my sister, on the 15th anniversary of my coronation. A pity that it's now a memento. Princess Carrie. When wearing this, I can't help but be constantly reminded of the weight of my duty to our people. <laughs> Even now, I can practically sense her wagging her finger at me. I see. So, in this world, a simple ornament like that has kept you from straying from your path. Hmm? Things could have easily gone in this direction. To think that you and I might have lived out our lives as friends. Rowan. Wait. You're not Ilbert, are you? Princess Carrie's ornament. Might I borrow it from you? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, imposter. But you're welcome to try and take it. We've fought enough for one lifetime, but if I must... Give me everything you've got. I want to see just who I'm dealing with. Everyone's quick to distrust in these fractured dimensions. It's like the opposite of the first game where everyone trusted everyone. Imposter, prepare yourself for retribution! Are you capable of such, old friend? You needn't ask! My spear will cut clean the path for this country's future! Well put. But enough talk! There is no greater language than that of battle! Very well. I, Rowan Ilbert, accept your challenge! <laughs> when I say they trusted everyone, it was mainly they trusted Alvin with no reason to trust him again and again and again and again. Some people made sense, like Mila and Judas, so much we just keep him close because clearly we can use him. Like other the, the other characters, they started to trust him again and again and again. We could trust him now, because like we understood what was going on by that point. But it is just strange. Oh, hello! Let's get some stuff going. Please provide support. Get a chain going. Good, good, good. Let's get the chromatis going. Well, I hope that we can get this done. Lovely. Just keeping an eye on when he was doing the skill so I don't lose my chromatis. Rowan, why are you smiling? Just reminiscing on the past. A little nostalgia for an old friend of mine. Who? You're not Ilbert, and yet you possess the conductor's skills. Who exactly are you? Just an old man who was to serve you loyally for the good of the country. Loyalty to me? Tell me something. What do you think of Rashagal today? I believe it is a thriving nation. A good one. The king leads his people, and the people support their king. Suppose that I tried to destroy it all. What would you do about it? 
I would do everything in my power to kill you myself, or die trying. <coughs> <laughs> Some time ago, I asked the Ilbert I know the same question, and he gave me the same answer. Are you certain? I did tell you to take it from me by force. At the end of the day, I'm not sure who you are and where you came from. But you are Rowan Ilbert, through and through. Thank you. Despite the unpleasant circumstances, I am grateful for the chance to speak with you again. Hmm. <laughs> we certainly livened up a dull evening. Boga, if you would please. I was gonna say, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. This world is destined for destruction. And besides, it is a world I've already lost. But don't you want to hold on? Indeed. Very much so. What? Before I bid farewell, Noctagall, please allow me to renew my vow to you. I will never retreat from my duty again. I will give everything to accomplish what must be done. And we're back. Rowan, are you okay? Oh, pardon me. Yes. Yes. Ah, in regards to that. Can you spare a minute? Hmm? Just follow us! Tipo! Shush! Please, let's head to the inn. Don't tell Rowan. What's going to go in on there? Why, why can we not tell Rowan? This is very, very suspicious, Elise. Ugh. Look at this crowd of people. Don't let me get squished. Frame rate dip then. There you are. Drissel here sent me a text. She said she's got something important to show us. Just us! No Rowan's allowed! I apologize for the secrecy. Just read this. It'll be quicker. Dear Elise, if you're reading this, then I have already shuffled off this mortal coil. What is this? It seems to be his will and final wishes. A maid found it hidden in one of the spare rooms. There's one for each of you. What? Why? Is he expecting to die during his mission for peace? He can't be. He did vow to give everything to accomplish what must be done. Including his life? No way! Please, look after him for me. Of course. I'm counting on you. Trissel, you look so pale. Sorry. I'm fine. Everything will be fine. I'm not letting someone close to me die again. Oh, there we go. The Fellowship and the Oath. Right, so we need now to make a payment. How much more do we need? 150,000. So let's go see what we can do to get 150,000 quickly. Because we need to do that. So let's see here. Right, we got meat monster info. See, if we went for that one, it'd be like, boom, we're done. But I know where it is, and I know it's quite difficult. So it's like, hmm. That could be a good one. Hydroblade. Kuka Ice Caves. The Neokera Holomont. I might go for that one. Just feel like that one's going to be reasonably easy compared to the others. And maybe that one in the Felgana Fel 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 Mines. Maybe that one. On the Barner, Hi Barno 
high road. Have we got anything else we can do here? Like that one, that'd be nice. It's lovely. Is there anything we can get done quickly? It's like, that was from Dude Bro. So it's like, I need my silver badge and my bronze seal and stuff like that to get these ones sorted. It's like, ah! These ones would be sorted like, like boom, that'd be done. It's like, ah, it's so annoying, so annoying. We really got nothing else in terms of ones we can hand in. Right, we're close to the 200,000. Right, I'm gonna make a cut now. And um, when we come back, we will have enough money, is the best way of putting it. So we'll see you in a second. Hi, Nova. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. We, we, we got what we need now. She really doesn't seem happy, does she? All right, let's hand that in. There we go. Thanks. See ya. Yeah. Okay, bye. Well done, Mr. Kresnik. I have a message for you from President Bakor. I want to meet the real Maxwell. Bring her to Spirius. End quote. Please follow through at your earliest convenience. All anyone cares about is the stupid Maxwell, Mila. I'm sorry. Wow, a complete sentence. I hate that stupid Spirius company, but... I guess we have to go. Meow. Meow. Pick your battles anyway. Man, it sure is weird to be traveling with Gaius and Musei this time. <laughs> Indeed, we were mortal enemies only a year ago. I still remember the final battle between Mila and Gaius. When Mila got Gaius in a leg trap chameleon clutch and forced him to tap out. She's joking, obviously. I wasn't tapping out, I was reaching for the ropes. The judge called it wrong. Wait, what? I don't know what this chameleon clutch art you speak of is, but if it has the power to force Gaius to submit, I would very much like to learn it. Shall I teach you? First, you need to find and wrap your arms around a chameleon. Uh, I can't keep up with this anymore! It's just wrestling. So, who really did win? Well... The answer to that question is in the world you see around you. Meaning, the real battle is about the fate of the two linked worlds? Yes, and Gaius is still fighting to unify the world today. I am far from alone in that. Indeed. Jude, Leia, Rowan, all the others. And you, Luger. You're a part of this too. That's why I still believe that everyone will emerge victorious in a fully unified world. Right. Well, Mila, you may be oblivious when it comes to humor, but you certainly know how to inspire the troops. Naturally. Now, before I was interrupted, I believe you were going to teach me this chameleon clutch art. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, Tisperius, let's go. Right, so we want to go back to Olympias, and oh, would it be the Spirius Corporate? All right, I guess we'll just be outside then. Fair enough. Seems a bit wrong, but okay. So, um, we're behind you. I mean, from the story standpoint, we should have come from the front. You should have seen us, but anyway, uh, yes. As I recall, I only asked for Luger and Maxwell. We don't trust you spurious people. <laughs> oh, why don't you tell me how you really feel, Dr. Mathis? I didn't expect that much spine from one who claims to support both Spyrix and spirits. <laughs> the accord twixt the two nations has been ratified. Adversity can be a strong foundation for peace. How selfless of you to come all this way to give me your report. Both as a CEO and a citizen, I'm overjoyed. I take it that you're Beasley Bacor. Looking at you, you do appear to be a formidable man. And you, I would presume, must be the true Maxwell. My Mila was true too, you know! You are correct. Every inch as proud as I'd expect from the Lord of Spirits. The Dimensional Abyss has stabilized. 
Then I shall transfer you the coordinates of the fractured dimension containing the final way marker. Have you uncovered the identity of the last way marker yet? No. That said, you should find it easily enough. Focus your search on the divergence catalyst, as in any other case. If Dr. Mathis and his friends are willing to cooperate, you are sure to succeed. I'll cooperate with Luger, but I do it on my own terms, to fulfill my duty. Indeed. We cooperate because we want to, not because we are ordered to. <laughs> Exercising your own free will, huh? That is humanity's strength. You have some steadfast friends, Luger. <laughs> the final way marker is within our grasp. In this grand endeavor, I wish you Godspeed. You put a lot of trust in Luger. With good reason. The key of Kresnik is mankind's last hope. Only he can overcome Origin's trial. No pressure, right? <sighs> Indeed. L and I. Chapter 12. I didn't expect the company president to see us off personally. A difficult man to predict. Do you have a minute? I'm sorry to bother you, but I wanted you to have this. I know you're no stranger to suffering, shouldering even burdens that aren't yours to bear. Consider this a token of my support. I have great respect for you and your efforts, but please, be careful not to push yourself too hard. Mental strength LU? No idea. Where was it? Like fractured dimension. That's where I meant to go. So let's see here. Ooh, F41D. B. Oh dear, oh dear. Sheraton, huh? It's been ages. It takes me back to when we all first met. Conductor Ilbert? Yes, I am Rowan Ilbert. I was once the steward for House Cheryl. The pleasure to see you again. How dare you! How dare I what? You take me for an idiot? I don't know who put together that costume of yours, pal, but it's not fooling me. Costume? Don't play dumb. Conductor Ilbert died eight years ago. He was murdered. Have you no shame? He... He dead? Rowan was murdered? Where have you been? It was a big deal in Riza Maxia. King Gaius threw him a state funeral and everything. Huh? Who murdered him? No one knows. They found the body floating in Lake Epsilla in Olympias. Lake Epsilla? Now I've had enough of your sick little joke. Buzz off. Intriguing. A fractured dimension in which I've been murdered. But if everyone here already knows about Olympias, and Rowan died eight years ago, this fractured dimension must be several years ahead of the prime dimension. Anyway, let's investigate the murder scene. Now, oh, steady on. We've got a few things to see here first. I think. They said the murder scene was at Lake Epsilla in Olympias, correct? That is what they said. But visiting the site of my own murder, I can't say I'm looking forward to this. I wonder if the time capsule we buried is here in this world too? An interesting question. Shall we visit the manor to see for ourselves? See, see. It all comes back together. Alright, so, let's go look at it. It's here-ish. This is where the time capsules are, right? Correct. Burying them here was Lady Drussell's idea. Should we dig them up? Um, let's dig them all up. Let's dig them all up. Very well. No need to feel guilt over an unsightly hole. This world will be gone soon enough. You're gonna open mine too? So we got a dread needle, a pink emerald, a dull colored gemstone, hallowed doll, and spurious fangs. Mm. 
These are exactly the same time capsules that we buried. Hmm. Interesting. This dimension's history was identical to the Prime's, until some point in the past. Perhaps my death was the point at which the two split. The death of a nation's Prime Minister would certainly leave a mark on history. Rowan, don't you want to meet this dimension's Drissel? I'd better not. Nothing good would come of it. Then it would just be needless voice acting, wouldn't it? Right, so let's see what we got there. So let's see here, because obviously we've got some better weapons there, like very, very much a lovely set of weapons there. It's like, they're basically like ones we've seen loads of times, aren't they? I think they are. There was a bike going out outside. I don't know if you heard that just then. Um, what else did we get? We got, I can't remember what we got. Is there any way to see what we got? I really should use that. Let's put that on ourselves just so we stay alive a little bit more. What did we get? Not that. Pink Emerald, a rare gemstone from the Tatali Terrari and Abyss. Maybe we've got something down there, maybe? Hello, Dob. Has a chance to revive the holder from KO. It will never break when used. Very, very nice to have. Uh, Dread Needle there. A rapier, blessed in runic arts and spirex. Increases max HP. Wasn't that the one we got? Sealed World? I'm thinking it was. I'm not, I'm not 100%, not 100%, but we need to give Rowan his... Dread Needle there. There's no one else so far. Um, let's give Ludger a hallowed doll. So we lose some stats, but the amount of KOs that we get, it would be nice to have that around, wouldn't it? Right, so we need to go to... This should... Oh. Do I really have to run there? I have to run there. Oh, that's gonna be so annoying. It's like, I'm trying to think what's the quickest way to any location that's got like a ship. Because I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna have to go through like Marksburg and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to travel so freaking far. Uh, Lady Giselle, anyway. So, you used to be Giselle's steward, Rowan? What kind of stews did you make? Stewer? Is that even a word? <laughs> I wasn't her steward. I was her steward. Oh, I know that word. It's like a handmaid, right? Steward. Steward. Steward is another word for butler. I served Lady Drissel, the Lord of Sheraton. I assume you did quite well then. A steward wears a pinafore dress and white gloves and prances around with a feather duster. Wears dresses? Now, now, Elle. The human heart is extremely complex. You need to keep an open mind. Wait, what? It's quite a relief to hear you say that. At first, Lady Drissel had to force me to wear the dress. But when I saw my reflection, I was stunned by my beauty. On that day, I was truly born anew. Huh? Ah, come now, Luger. Don't think too hard on such playful banter. <sighs> Some very strange noises from Ludger there. Right, so what's the best course of action? Because we're going to be running through lots of places we've been through before. I'm thinking I make cuts now until we're actually at the different locations that have skits. Because there is a few along our way, so I'll do that now. So we'll be back in a second in... I think it'll be Marksburg, yes. Yes, so we'll see you in Marksburg. I mean, it's a Pokemon, so we should poke it, right? No. That would be cruel. <sighs> it's a Spyrite. Who found you? Don't go running off like that. Excuse me, but is that a Spyrite? Huh? Yeah, what else would it be? Does it ever, you know, lose control of itself? Good heavens, no. I mean, he gets into trouble once in a while, but he's a good little Spyrite. Where might we learn more about Spyrite technology? Well, you could try the Spurious Corporation, I guess, but I doubt they'll tell you anything worthwhile. It's not really in their interest to spill any secrets. They have a total monopoly on the Spyrite market. Spyrite technology is everywhere in this world. 
Perhaps the Jude of this dimension could tell us the secret to making spyrite technology viable. One more question. Have you ever heard the name Jude Mathis? Sure, in school. He's the guy who brought spyrite technology to the masses. How about that, Jude? Shame how he died, though. It's been a few years, but I still remember all the news stories about that mass murder. All those bodies bobbing in Lake Epsila. Wait, I'm dead too? Clearly, we need to get to this Lake Epsila. It's turning out to be quite the crime scene. It's dying like... like what happened to Mila? <laughs> it's exactly that. Here we go, idealism and reality. Hey Jude, what was that weird animal thing? <sighs> Jude? Hello? <sighs> uh, what's his deal? He's, um, he's contemplating his own mortality, but you know. What? Why are you suddenly doing backflips? Because you were spacing out! Uh, sorry about that. I was just thinking about those spyrites. That's what you wanted to make all along, right? So, good job? That's true, but I can't help but wonder if their development might be connected to, you know... Can't you just be happy like a normal person? I don't like seeing you moping around like this. It reminds me of... Mila. You're absolutely right, Elle. After all, now I know success is possible. I should be happy about that. Exactly! Kind of like... <laughs> hmm, on second thought, I'll think of a different example. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, let's see if we can get a train to drill in from here, because that's where we need to go right now. And get one straight there, be very nice. There we go. Yes. And that's where we're going to be ending this part as well. There should be another skit there. And then we'll head off to Lake Ipsilla in the next part. Alright, so we're after a skit somewhere. There you are. Look at all the spyrites! Nature seems to be bouncing back. Jude. It is like, it works out. Like we can see here, it's like, this works out. You two really get each other, huh? Yeah. But alright then. <laughs> Just, yeah. This is simply the way Jude is. Please try and understand. Wait, you found something strange in Lake Epsilla? While I was fishing, I reeled it in by accident. Wait a minute, I know that thing. This is... Uh, this is the stuffed animal the governor of Sheraton asked us to look for. Right. Apparently it was that poor little girl's most prized possession. Why did it show up now? She's been dead for years. They never did find the killer, you know. Damn thing's probably cursed. Tipo? Which means the murdered girl was none other than... Elise. What in the world happened at that lake? Let's make haste for Lake Epsilla. The culprit must be long gone, but perhaps we can obtain some more information about the deed. The lake? Yeah, quite strange they're all connected to the main group and they're all dead. Yeah. Well, we'll find out what's going on in the next part. Ta-ta for now.